Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Americans have been drinking filtered bottled water for decades, but sales of bottled water have skyrocketed in recent years. Revenues from bottled water now exceed soft drinks. In 2007, Americans bought 13.7 billion gallons of bottled water at a price tag of almost $19 billion. That averages out to about $1.35 a gallon. By comparison, municipal water costs about one cent a gallon. A major concern some Americans have about municipal water is the addition of chlorine. Aside from chlorine's odor and flavor, some whole house water purifier manufacturers use fear of chlorine's health risk to justify spending thousands of dollars to buy and maintain a residential water purification system. Chlorine is element 17 in the periodic table. In the U.S., municipal water chlorination began in 1908. Chlorine is added to drinking and swimming pool water to kill harmful bacteria. Before chlorination, American drinking water can cause cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. It was safer drinking distilled and fermented beverages than water. Most Americans have forgotten the health risks associated with drinking untreated water. Much of the fear surrounds the creation of trihalomethanes that form in chlorinated water. But chlorinated water is not the only source of trihalomethanes. And what many Americans don't realize is that the main source of chlorine is salt, not chlorinated water. Dietary salt is in the form of sodium chloride and potassium chloride. Chloride is a chlorine ion, and ions are atoms or molecules with fewer or more electrons than protons. I know some of you are thinking chlorine and chloride are not the same. At room temperature, pure chlorine is a greenish-yellow gas. Chlorine bleach is not made using pure chlorine, but by using sodium hypochlorite. In the U.S., calcium hypochlorite and sodium hypochlorite are used to chlorinate drinking water. Like chloride in salt, chlorite is a chlorine ion. Dietary salt is 60% chlorine. Many Americans average over 5 grams of chloride in their diet daily. U.S. drinking water can have up to 4 milligrams of chlorine per liter, equivalent to 4 parts per million. Drinking one 8-ounce glass of chlorinated water provides less than 1 milligram of chlorine. Drinking 8 8-ounce eight glasses of water a day provides up to 7 milligrams of chloride compared to over 2 grams of chloride in this fast food meal. Another claim is that bathing and showering in chlorinated water increases your risk of cancer through skin absorption. To prove human skin easily absorbs chlorine, chlorinated water is poured into two glasses. Then a chlorine indicator, like the one to check chlorine levels in swimming pool water, is added to one glass. Even without stirring, you can see the water is developing a yellow hue. Then the water in the second glass is stirred about five seconds using a couple fingers. The same indicator is added to the second glass. As you can see, it shows a dramatic reduction in the water's chlorine level. But millions of Americans swim in chlorinated water, and the water is chlorinated with the same chemicals used to treat municipal drinking water. The chlorine level in swimming pool water is the same as the chlorine level in drinking water. If you swim in chlorinated water, Theoretically, your skin will absorb more chlorine than taking a shower or bath. If you own a pool with chlorinated water, you'll need to add more chlorine to make up for the chlorine removed by a whole house filter. 
The cancer risk associated with chlorinated water is not due so much to chlorine, but to the formation of trihalomethanes. THMs form when chlorine combines with organic matter in treated water and water pipes. Early research linked THMs in drinking water to the formation of free radicals and several cancers. More recent research concludes there is not enough evidence proving THMs in drinking water pose a health risk. That doesn't mean the health risk is zero. It just means that more research is needed to prove cause and effect. Your body's cells are continually producing free radicals as a byproduct of oxygen use. Free radicals can contribute to heart disease, cataracts, aging, and infection. Eating a diet high in antioxidants reduces the risk of cancers from free radicals. Chloroform is a common THM found in drinking water and classified as a possible carcinogen. But keep in mind, there is a big difference between possible and known carcinogen. Chloroform in U.S. drinking water ranges between two to seven hundredths parts per million. Chloroform is also found in the atmosphere and in some foods. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to remove the odor and taste of chlorine in drinking water. A simple, inexpensive water filter will remove chlorine. Some facts about water chlorination is that chlorine is added to drinking and pool water to kill harmful bacteria. Salt is a major source of chlorine in the American diet. There is currently no link between THMs in drinking water and an increased risk of cancer. Even if you swim in chlorinated water on a regular basis, the amount of chlorine absorption through your skin is less than dietary chlorine. Chlorinated water myths include drinking chlorinated water and bathing and showering in chlorinated water will increase your risk of cancer and other diseases, and that a whole house water filter is essential to remove chlorine and THMs to protect your health. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.